Hey, I'm Roland and we're here at IFA 2019 and we're taking a look at the first 5G integrated SOC that's actually hitting the market, well at least according to Samsung, because they basically made a fool out of Huawei yesterday when they announced the Exynos 980. Uh, the internal name of this chip, I don't know if you can, if you'll be able to see it, but if my phone makes it Yep, it's the 9630, so that's the official or the internal name of this thing. They just decided to go from four to three digits on the naming here. Um, it's the first mid-range SoC featuring an integrated 5G modem, because before we only had chips with a separate 5G modem. So this time they're switching to an integrated design. You'll be getting pretty decent speeds on here, also featuring Wi-Fi 6 and a bunch of other nice features. It has two ARM Cortex-A77 cores and another uh, six A555 cores. Um, so if you look closely, you have a combination of these two chips in your device. You'll once for one have the seven nanometer uh, made. Let me try and get this to focus. Uh, Exynos 980, which is the chip right here. And then you'll have the additional chip down here, which is the radio frequency IC, which is basically this thing that controls the antennas pretty much as far as I have understood. Um, but what's also interesting down here on the show floor at IFA is that Samsung is also showing an actual reference design for this. So this right here is a demo about the NPU that's integrated into the new SOC. They have my fat self. And what you can see here is basically that the NPU on the left, or the, the demo running on the NPU on the left is about twice as fast as the same demo running on the CPU. Um, this is actually a ref design, a reference design. Not really a full, fully fledged phone yet because you can see we have pretty much the screen of a Galaxy S9, I would say, We're featuring a bit of a bezel up here. Decent resolution. This should be running at a 2560 by 1080 or uh, 1440 uh, resolution in this case. There is no full Samsung software on here yet, but we're still running pretty much AOSP. Looking at the system info down here, you can see we have the ERD9630. So that's the, uh, yeah, probably reference design for this thing. And down here we have it again android on this reference design you get a front-facing camera up here a bunch of sensors to try and get this thing to focus it's kind of hard with all these reflective surfaces down here at the bottom you have a standard USB-C port plus your noise cancelling microphone and on the left just a bunch of buttons right there and the same goes for the right which has the same power button up there and on the rear, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, we have two cameras down there and the headset jack up top, so that's basically just your main camera plus the, uh, I guess, depth sensing camera on this sample right here. So that's just been a very quick look at Samsung's official reference design for the Exynos 980. Internal name should be uh, 9630 in this case. They are launching this thing together with Vivo in China because Vivo is the first customer for this device, not Samsung themselves. So they are trying to sell this chip to the Chinese running their um, sub-6 5G networks. So that's just been a very quick look at the new Samsung Exynos 980, which is the first 5G integrated SoC that's in the mid-range.